I'm Peg Breen from the New York Landmarks Conservancy. We're at beautiful Wave Hill, a public garden and cultural center in Riverdale for another tourist in your own town excursion. Wave Hill's award-winning gardens draw visitors from around the world. The site's 28 acres also offer a spectacular view of the Palisade Cliffs across the Hudson. Once farmland, Wave Hill became a country estate in the mid-1800s. The main house was built from native stone. It was enlarged through the years, becoming a Neo-Georgian manor. A young Theodore Roosevelt and his family leased Wave Hill for two summers. Mark Twain later spent three years here. George Perkins, a financier and important early conservationist, bought the property we know as Wave Hill in 1903. His vision created the gardens and grounds we see today. He added greenhouses and an underground recreational building topped by a landscape terrace and colonnade. The building now houses programs in urban ecology. There are more than 4,000 varieties of trees, shrubs, woody vines, and herbaceous plants on the grounds. Distinct garden rooms feature several varieties. Wave Hill trains future gardeners as interns who work alongside the professional staff. There's even a bee colony to help pollinate the gardens. Visitors can donate to adopt a bee. Often referred to as one of the greatest living works of art, the gardens are known for their beauty, and visitors can simply enjoy them at their leisure. But you can also take guided tours of the gardens, hear live music, come to make art, do yoga, or learn about the natural world around us. Perkins and his family lived in another house on the property named Glendor. It suffered extensive fire damage and was replaced by the current Glendor, which houses art exhibitions. Perkins continued renting Wave Hill to friends and family. One tenant added Armor Hall to house his large private collection of armor. Architect Dwight James Baum designed the Gothic-inspired addition. Today, the hall is home to indoor concerts and hosts weddings and other events. Wave Hill House underwent a two-year renovation and restoration completed in 2011. That allows this much-loved house to meet the expectations of 21st century visitors with more attractive and accessible public spaces for programs. Wave Hill is perfect on a summer's day but the house and grounds offer programs and beauty year-round. Teddy Roosevelt's summers at Wave Hill deepened his love of nature. Visiting Wave Hill today can do the same for you.